Hi Air Signs and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is going to be your general love and romance horoscope air signs. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius for the month of August 2021. However, all of my readings are meant to be timeless. So if you happen to catch this reading outside of the timeline of August 2021 and it resonates with your situation, that means it was meant for you to hear at that time. So, so since it is general, that means it's not going to resonate with everyone. So I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description where it says show more as well as all these decks I'm using here today, my Instagram and TikTok information. And the majority of the items you see will be listed in my Etsy shop or they will have a link to where they are available. I'm using the one candle for you air signs in all the horoscopes for August 2021. Also, if you're looking for your individual horoscopes for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, they are up and available on my Patreon, which that link is available below as well. So if you hear me see that hear me say the masculine or the feminine and I say he or she when I refer to them I'm just referring to energies and not a specific gender so the masculine or the feminine can be male or female just take it how it resonates or applies in your situation also the energies can definitely be flipped so when I say I'm talking about you air signs I could be talking about your person well, only you're going to know that, okay? So this month I'm doing the horoscopes a little bit different to try to cut down on time since time has become a challenge. Um, so most of you guys see that I normally, as I'm shuffling, I don't put the cards down, but I'm putting them down while I shuffle uh, to conserve on the timeline, okay? So I'll be getting the general energy of the masculine and then the general uh, energy of the masculine towards the feminine. And then also her energy, her general energy, and then her general energy towards the masculine. And then we'll see what's going on in their current situation. And just we'll go from there at that point, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started um, with the reading. Okay, so this is the energy oracle uh this is the the general energy of the masculine at this time so we have cornucopia so this is about a harvest could have to do with something around the fall or just being happy or wanting happy or happiness or some type of harvest either with money or just life in general uh we have number 11 that could be significant so let's see what is this cornucopia this is the modern witch tarot five of cups all right, so he's sad over something here, okay? Um, he's um, not looking at the cups behind him. They're spilled as far as he's concerned. Now, some of you guys, this masculine could have water in his chart, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or it could be uh, someone in the equation or just emotional about his happiness. Maybe it came to an end or he doesn't feel that he can be happy. So number five, that can be significant um, as well. So this is the general energy the masculine is in towards the feminine. So we have yin, yang. So this is masculine and feminine energy, balance energy. 22, that can be significant. It's also 211. So some of you guys could be dealing with twin flame connection uh, with this yin, yang energy, especially with this uh, 11s and this uh, 22 uh, number here. So let's see what this has to do with queen of pentacles. Yeah, so this masculine would like to balance things with this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys um, could be Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, or you could be dealing with uh, someone that uh, is an Earth sign, or this could be just about um, stability, somebody may, uh, wanting to make things right, balance things out with this type of uh, person that is secure and stable, focused on her coins and her, her finances, practical, grounded, you know, maybe even a boss or, you know, in charge of her, her own uh, business or a high ranking manager or something like that. But I feel like the masculine wants to balance this out. He may want to make a solid offer or uh, solidify the relationship. And maybe he's sad because he wasn't able to do that um, in the past. Okay. So let's go ahead and see where the feminine is at. This is, um, number nine that could be significant so we have broken heart okay so 
that could be um, the reason why things uh, need to be balanced with the feminine. Maybe this masculine broke this feminine heart of uh, this feminine's heart, and so she could be still in that energy. So, what was this broken heart about? It had to do with some type of drama, some type of truth that came in very quickly, unexpected. She wasn't really um, expecting it. She could also be um, ready to just cut this out. Like she just don't want to deal with that. She she want to get rid of the broken um, heart energy. Um, this is air energy, so this definitely could be you guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you're dealing with another air sign. But I feel like there is this truth to come, you know, and cut out this uh, broken heart uh, separation, possibly for um, some of you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's the feminine's energy. And this could be about, doesn't have to be about the masculine, it could be something that just broke the feminine's heart, okay? It could be anything, um, you know, with a friend, a family member. Uh, some kids or something maybe somebody said something dramatic and it, it caused the feminine the feelings to be hurt so this is the feminine's energy towards the masculine at this time so rest and rejuvenation so she's taking a break she's going within she's retreating uh 19 which is also 10 those numbers can be significant so yeah so i feel like this feminine she it's like she doesn't want to go forward with with this particular masculine uh, for whatever reason, it could have had to do around heartbreak, drama, chaos, things weren't balanced, there was more sadness than happiness. This is a sign of cancer, so some of you guys could have cancer in your chart or dealing with a cancer, but this is about victory and success, but it's victory over some type of battle that took place. So I feel like the feminine doesn't want to fight, she doesn't want a, a battle to go forward. Um, for some of you guys, it could be retreating from the distance between the two of you guys. There could be some type of distance going on. And we have number seven. That number can be um, significant as well. So let's see what's going on in the current situation between you and your person, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is my situations oracle. If you live in the United States and you're interested in any of my decks, you can only get them from my site or my Etsy shop. But if you're international, please send me an email below I will send you a link to order so right now we here we got here there's a family situation okay actual family uh, where there's blood ties or inner circle where they feel like family so we have trash discarding thrown out somebody may have threw out or they didn't value this connection and so they just dis, just um, discarded it okay I mean the other person uh, went away because the person didn't you know place value in this connection so now we have the grip, anchor chain, uh, chains weighed down. So I feel like somebody is feeling very weighed down by the fact that somebody just kind of like tossed them out like trash. Either a family member or somebody just left a family member because they felt, you know, they didn't feel like they were being treated right. They felt like they were being discarded. So this is uh, my twin flame messages. So let's go ahead and see. I want to escape with you. I don't want to lose you again. It's not your fault. So there were some problems that took place either in this family dynamic. Somebody could have threw the other person out because they were involved in another family situation and they were being heavily weighed down by that. And so this is how they um, handled it. And if that's the case, they're letting you know that it wasn't your fault. Uh, even though they may have blamed you or if they left the situation. I don't want to lose you again, okay? So this is somebody that you guys have gotten um, possibly back together more more than one time for sure. It could be two or more times, but they kind of like, they don't want to lose you again, okay? They don't want to, that I feel like that's the mouse when that's feeling sad. So they're trying to make things uh, peaceful between the two of you guys because they don't want to lose the connection that they have for you or the family tie or the bond and then we have here i want to escape with you so somebody i feel like got away from this family situation or they want to and that's what they're doing okay this could definitely be the family got away because they just didn't feel like they were valued in the situation that's the main energy i'm getting from that so this is the uh, kipper deck so we have here toll and labor thoughts and a message um 38 which is 11 16 which is 7 7 so it's two sevens here and 11 a lot of 11s here definitely some twin flame connection energy in here for some of you guys highly spiritual connection um that's going on here toll and labor this could have had to do with work 
okay? A message could have came from work that caused this person to think a lot. Someone could be thinking about taking a risk towards uh, communicating a message towards you. But this toil and labor has to do with work and it also has to do with things you don't want to do. Risky, dangerous behavior. So maybe this person is thinking about just taking a risk, communicating with you um, because they are wanting to, they're sad, they miss you. They want to make things uh, balance over you. But they're in, they're really thinking about you a lot. Okay. And they also thinking about what they want to communicate. This could come by um, a letter, an email, a phone call, something like that. Um, and they could also be thinking about a message that you already gave them. Okay. You could have given them some type of communication already or that you were taking a break. Okay. So this is my mystery house Oracle. So let's go ahead and see what is the current challenge or blockage between you and, and your, uh, person, air science, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We already see someone is sad, um, over, they're, they feel like they lost their cornucopia. They're missing that. They want to make things right with this uh, Queen of Pentacles uh, energy. But it looks like that feminine is just kind of like not in that same energy. So let's go ahead. That's the first card. And then let's go ahead and get two more. Yeah, so definitely somebody is just surviving, doing the same thing, doing the daily hustle. They just keep thinking about communicating um, over and over um, with the Walking Dead energy. Also, the challenge is they, their daily routine has no passion, okay? They don't feel alive. They're just like making it through the day. And then we also have here challenges with the shadow people. There was something hidden. There were secrets uh, that took place. Uh, between this um, connection or somebody hid from the connection, um, you know, and, and didn't reveal themselves. And maybe when they did, the person wasn't interested anymore. But I do see a lot of dark. Uh, I feel that things were very one-sided too. They were very black and white, not in, you know, in between. So now we have the black light energy stood up, no show. So I feel like someone may not have uh, stood up for the connection, like they abandoned the connection or they felt like they were abandoned and i do feel like somebody did abandon the connection they did leave they discarded the connection okay they they um they didn't take a, a risk in the past and whoever this is as the person that's feeling sad and the challenge is someone just doesn't want to be in that daily routine where there's no passion and there's things hidden or there's um, secrets going on is what I'm getting. So this is my Cupid's, uh, Cupid's Desires Oracle. If you're new to my channel, it does have some sexual references. So if that offends you, this would be a good time to click off. So I'm going to go ahead and get what is the masculine feeling or thinking uh, when it comes to the Divine Feminine. Yeah, so this masculine is, is feeling a lot of passion towards the feminine, insatiable energy, really feeling the feminine's energy. And then he also would like to um, have cocktails with the feminine, maybe some drinks and conversation um, as well. Um, there might have been some communication um, that already took place. Some of you guys might have already um had some drinks and conversation about it, but maybe um, somebody just was not really feeling it. That's also what I'm getting. And then we have out of control, passive, submissive. So I feel like this person is um, either they have their hands tied right now or they're ready to be passive when it comes to this connection because they really are, are feeling your um, energy right now and maybe they're ready to be submissive. So I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, this is my Cupid's Desires Love Messages. It complements the uh, Cupid's Desires Oracle. So I'm going to get some additional messages, feelings, thoughts that the masculine is having uh, when it comes to the feminine at this time. Okay. Thank you, angels, spirits, guys. <laughs> this kind of went on with the energy for the individual horoscopes too. Uh, on the Patreon. So, um, catch up. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? So I feel like the masculine knows that he discarded the connection. Maybe they have family ties or not. 
um, but whatever he was being weighed down, he wasn't concerned with the feminine, okay? So now he's being weighed down by that energy because maybe now the feminine is the one that's taking a break. But this masculine would like to catch up because he's really feeling your energy. So we have infinity. This love has no ceiling. So this infinity energy could be happening around the 88 portal, okay? Again, I feel like this is somebody that, you know... Um, has a tendency to come back around or you've been going round and round with also some of you guys are dealing with twin flame connection but this person does um feel like a lot a love uh, a lot of love for you they are sad over this connection okay sad maybe over what took place in the past and sad of the status of the connection at this time so we have confession I keep asking myself why am i so afraid to tell you how i feel when i have already admitted it to others so they could um, be thinking about confessing this to you over cocktails drinks and conversations that they may want to um, be submissive to you you know surrender the control with that out of control energy because they're really feeling your um, energy in order so that you guys can catch up and have a conversation but it really is just going to depend on the feminine is she if she's even susceptible to that energy okay um so I'm going to go ahead and see what is the action outcome that this masculine is likely to take uh, towards the feminine during this time. Air signs, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this came out with uh, Earth signs energy. So if, you, if some of you guys are tied to Earth signs, you may want to check that out. This is about a, an offer, a solid offer into 3D. Okay, it's a brand new beginning. It could have to do with a relationship. It could be a career change or just a solid, something that is a good solid offer. Okay. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, which is here. It's present. Um, so it's a lot of, I see a lot of air, water, and earth. Okay. So let's see why this is here. This is the Intuit Oracle. I'm going to get two cards. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to do the messages. I'll do that. After I don't know why I jumped. I've been doing a lot of reading, so I'm a little off. <laughs> I'll give messages from the masculine and the feminine in just a moment. But let's see what is the outcome action this masculine is likely to take towards air signs. There's one, and then let's I told you the cards is just not playing in this energy. So we have here a tornado, a storm brewing. Okay, sudden, unexpected, and uh, total wreck. So either someone might make an offer and the other one, it doesn't want to accept the offer. They're over and done with it. Or for some of you guys, something unexpected, an offer is coming. Um, it, it could be a little bit dramatic, though, with this tornado, okay? Or you, some of you may see that this offer has, like, a storm warning with it. Like, it, it carries things with it. It's not as like you don't trust it basically is what i'm getting no but we have another eight here okay and 11 for some of you guys this will be some type of offer from a twin flame connection because now we have total transformation so somebody may want to transform all that drama that tornado that chaos um heed the call uh surrender to it so we do see this passive energy so i feel like it's the masculine that wants to surrender the drama and the chaos that they may have had towards you and have a, a clean slate like make a solid offer so even if it's not a relationship just wipe the uh the plate the, whatever a clean slate with you guys okay to, to order to expand things all right clearing and purging uh, releasing you know whatever drama that took place in the past so some of you guys it just will be like to try to like just a solid new beginning between the two of you to be done with this chaos and then some of you guys um, this could be an offer of a solid relationship and others of you is that you don't trust the offer and because you feel like it comes with some type of a warning you take this it has some type of att attachment with it is what I'm getting all right, so this is my his situations, messages from the Divine Masculine. It is a, um, a sequel to my situations deck, and it's also one of my latest decks. So I'm going to give three messages from the Masculine uh, to the Feminine. Okay, I told you the cards, they are talking 
for air signs. <laughs> also remember if you guys are looking for your individual um, horoscopes, they are up on Patreon. The link to Patreon is below. So we have here so many times I had the phone in my hand ready to reach out to you. So we know that because we have the message there and it's been on the masculine's mind, okay? Because he's bored, he's tired of the daily hustle, um, but so many times he's been ready to reach out to you. He doesn't have a lot of um, passion going on in his life right now. So I have considered leaving it all behind and heading straight to you, but I don't know if I can handle the consequences. So that's that risky behavior. Like he's thinking about taking risks. If he's involved with a family situation, he's thinking about leaving the family behind and then coming towards you, but at the same time, not sure if he could handle it. People look up to me and I don't want to let them down. See, there's other people that is dependent on this masculine, a family member or something, you know, or somebody uh, close uh, um, inner circle. And this could be the reason why, whoops, sorry, let me grab this really quick. This could be the reason why um, you felt like you were discarded or why they did discard you, okay? Could have been because of a family situation. This is my her situations, messages from the Divine Feminine. This is my other deck. So let's go ahead and get um, my other latest deck. So let's get three messages to the feminine, uh, from the feminine to the masculine. I've used the pain of being without you to better myself, okay? The broken heart, the drama, the chaos. She's used that to turn it around, possibly into becoming uh, very stable, secure, financially good is what I'm getting. I wasn't ready for you when we first met, but I, but now I am. So maybe when this masculine first approached this feminine, she didn't recognize the connection. She didn't see it as a soulmate, twin flame. Maybe she wasn't attracted to that or whatever. But it does feel like she's saying, I, I'm ready now. I wasn't ready when you first approached me, but now I'm ready. So some of these feminines are just taking a break before going forward. Or they just, you know, want to take a break from the distance in between the two of you guys. Um, I love how you make me feel when I look into your eyes. So she does feel very special when she looks at this masculine. masculine <laughs> if I can talk. She feels very special uh, when she looks into uh, this masculine eyes. Even though um, it's been a painful experience with this particular uh, masculine. Okay. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you. I hope that resonated for you. If it did, please like the video, comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Also, everybody remember to hit the notification bell so you can get the latest video. Um, uh, again, everything you want to know is going to be listed below the video description, including the individual horoscopes if you want to join Patreon and get previous extended readings as well. So I'm wishing you much love and success when it comes to love and romance and finances through uh, in August 2021 and beyond. And so I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace love and light.